My name's James Maloney. I'm a writer for young people. I see myself as writing for kids as young as seven and up to 17 year old. Uh, I have 32 books out now, uh, some of which are standard texts in schools. I also do workshops in schools when I'm asked to come and talk about a particular book or just to talk to groups about writing in general. Another time I might be asked to take some aspect of writing that I think is important and I'll draw that out for the students. And as a novelist, someone who spends my days coming up with stories, I think what you've created here is potentially an interesting character and story. Story writing is not really all that hard once you understand the, the basic rules of the procedure and so I try to show them that um, and that they can all do it. Having an interesting character does not necessarily mean that you've already got a story. Okay? It, um, what we really need to find then is some direction for the story. I like to give them some sort of structure to work in, um, give them some processes that they can go through where they can end up with those parts of the story that they need. And so there's another question that you can use instead. Instead of talking about is there a problem, you can say instead is there something that Oliver wants but is having difficulty getting. If you can get a sentence down on the page that's just sort of outlines where the story's going, you're halfway there. I talk to them that they need to plan their stories if they want to get over that horrible moment when you don't know what's going to happen next. It happens to so many um, young kids when they're writing. Climax is usually the most important of the complications. Okay? But it sort of leads directly into the resolution of the story. But what I've found over the years, the really important thing to do next is to work out your ending. I try to engage the students and I try to make it enjoyable and um, I, I get them laughing where I can but I also think that I take that opportunity to um, draw writing out for them more um, as a process and as, an, as a skill and as something that offers something, more, something deeper to them. Writing a story is like a journey if you want to use that metaphor and your ending is your destination. Uh, if you've worked out where you're going before you start, then even though you get lost along the way, which you almost inevitably will at some stage, you can get back on track because you know where you're going to. If they can get something constructive done in that time, it, it builds their confidence, um, makes it easier to put that pen to paper because so many kids um, get to be 14 or 15 years of age and they're almost afraid to put pen to paper in case it doesn't measure up or they don't know what to do. And I, I try to demystify that process, make it easier for them. Excellent, I like that. They, don't find, they go on a journey to find the parents, they don't find them, but they, they strengthen their own relationship. So that out of you know, one session with me of an hour or an hour and a half, they've learned something solid that they can use next time they write a story.